Hello everyone, I'm back again with another video. So today I'll teach you how to install Linux operating system in your Windows machine. Okay, so first of all, I would like you to know the requirements which you'll be needing to install the Linux OS in your machine. Okay, so here you can see first you need is a virtual machine application like a application or a software inside which you will install the Linux operating system. Okay. So generally what happens is uh, in your physical laptop or computer the operating system that is windows or linux or a mac or whatever uh, operating system it is it requires some hardware right like it will require cpu then the ram storage processors all these things are required by your uh, operating system which helps the user to interact with the hardware or you can say the operating system acts as an interface between the uh, computer's hardware components and the user okay so that is why the operating system needs some hardware right but here you are trying to install an operating system inside another operating system right uh, so what it will do is it will also require some hardware so i'll have to provide them separately but there is only one set of physical hardware right so i cannot give the hardware to both uh, windows uh, as well as linux right so what i am doing is i am creating a virtual machine so it's all uh, virtual it's not real okay but you'll get the experience of linux operating system only okay for this we need the application which will uh, like store our operating system that is we call the virtual machine okay there are many virtual machines uh, like a virtual box then vmware then citrix these are all a virtual machine okay but in this video i'll be using virtual box i'll show you how to install this and after installing this virtual box inside that i will install the linux operating system okay and second is you will need a minimum of 4 gb ram okay you can install uh, this operating system in your uh, 2 gb ram uh, memory as well but uh, it will be not fruitful it will be like uh, lagging or it will hang okay so uh, minimum requirement is 4 gb okay that is because uh, in the beginning only I told you that uh, the operating system requires some hardware. So what we are doing is we are sharing the hardware components with Linux operate, operating system uh, with the help of this virtual machine. Okay. So uh, more the RAM the better it is uh, to work with this uh, virtual machine. Okay. And then you will require an ISO file of whichever operating system you want to install. Okay, ISO file is basically the image file. It basically contains the exact copy of the optical disk. Okay, optical disk is a storage uh, device you can say in which the data are stored in digital form and it uses the optical technology. So what will happen is when you install the Linux in your uh, virtual box, it will not affect the main disk in your physical laptop. Okay, so whatever you do inside the Linux, it will not affect your physical operating system. Okay, so it's basically creating a copy of the disk. So that is why you need to install this uh, .iso file. Okay, now here you can see so this is the main computer or you can say main laptop and inside that this is the virtual box okay you can say this is the computer inside the main computer okay so inside this virtual box application you can install any type of uh, os like you can install windows xp windows 10 mac os kali linux ubuntu fedora any any operating system you can install in this virtual box okay so now let's start the installation so to install VirtualBox, uh, go to Chrome and type there VirtualBox download. Okay. So now click this first link. I'll give the uh, link in the description box. Uh, so here you can see uh, you have to install this Windows host. Like you are installing this VirtualBox in your Windows uh, operating system, right? So that is why I click on this first option. Let me save this exe file somewhere. I'll download it over here and click save. And you can see it is getting downloaded. 
okay so you can see this exe file is downloaded i'll just click on that and open it you will get a pop-up saying that if do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device click on yes so it's installing so this is the installation wizard click on next and again next uh, let this all be uh, tick marked and then click next proceed with installation now yes and click on install so it's installing uh, meanwhile let us download iso file of the uh, linux operating system okay so just type over here ubuntu download then you'll get this link the first link you will click on that then here you can see uh, this is the download option click on that i'll just save this iso file somewhere uh, i'll save it over here and click save now it's downloading meanwhile uh, let me go and see if it's downloaded so you, here you can see this download is finished and i'll just click on finish so now this uh, virtual box is installed and it is launched also you can see and over here you can see this iso file of linux that is the ubuntu uh, operating system is also installed now let me show you how to uh, like install this operating system inside this uh, virtual box okay so this is the interface of the virtual box here you can see there is an option called new okay so click on that new option you can give a name to your operating system over here i'll give it as uh, ubuntu as only and this is the location where your uh, operating system will be installed like all the vms will be installed here okay so you can choose type from here you can choose mac os B bsd solaris linux uh, windows as well i'm installing uh, linux over here so i'll choose linux then you can choose the version from here as well i have installed 64 bit version so i'm selecting this only i am not changing that and then click on next so now here you can give memory to this uh, virtual box that is the virtual machine you are installing you can allocate memory to this so do not give memory over this red line then it will not uh, like uh, work properly because if your uh, physical machine has 4 gb of ram and you are giving the memory maximum memory to this virtual machine then your uh, physical laptop may not work uh, properly okay so that is why allocate memory according to your need i just keep it uh, this way only in my case and then i'll click next so now choose this second option create a virtual hard disk now so it will basically create a hard disk which is virtual and that is not a uh, real okay so this is creating for this uh, linux only okay so click on this option and then click create now from here choose the first option that is the vdi virtual box disk image you remember i told you to install this iso file which is a copy or you can say an image of the, uh, like the optical disk that is why I choose this option this is the disk uh, image option then click on next then select this dynamically allocated option that is like suppose you are giving 10 uh, gb of memory to this virtual machine so what it will do is uh, whatever work you do inside the linux operating system it will allocate memory according to need it will not uh, like allocate the whole 10 gb for you like if you need only 2 gb out of 10 then it will allocate you only 2 gb okay but if you select this fixed size option it will allocate you the whole 10 gb of memory okay so if you if it allocates the whole 10 gb memory to this vm then it will uh, affect your local machine okay many other uh, applications may hang that is why I choose this dynamically allocated option and then click on next so here you can see 10 gb is selected so i was talking about this only if you give 10 gb of memory it will allocate memory according to uh, its need okay so allocate memory uh, keeping in mind the physical size of hard disk you have okay if you have 2 gb of hard disk then allocate uh, like 10 gb or 15 gb or something like that but if you have 1 tb of hard disk then you need to give it less space okay so that your physical laptop works fine okay now i'll keep this as 10 gb only and then i'll click on create 
So now here you can see this is the operating system it is already uh, created. So this is the Linux operating system. Now what I will do is I will start this Linux operating system. So to start this you have to click on this option. So click start over here. So it's starting now. This is the preview you can see over here. So when you uh, clicked on the start, it gives you this pop-up. So in this pop-up only, you need to uh, upload the ISO file, okay? So it's basically same as in you are uh, installing a new OS in your system. So what I'm doing is I'll browse this file where I've saved this. So I'll just click on this option and then click on add. So it will open this file explorer. I'll just go to the uh, location where I saved my ISO file. So it was in this uh, operating systems. So this is the file. So I'll just uh, select that and click open. So here you can see it's selected and then click choose. So here you can see the ISO file is selected and then click on start. So now it is installing. So now this is the installation wizard of the uh, OS. So I'll install Ubuntu over here and I'll keep English selected and then I'll click on install Ubuntu. Then click on continue. Keep these as defaults and then click on continue again. Now keep this as default and then you can click on uh, install now. But here you can see there is a warning saying this will delete all your programs, documents, photos and any other files in all operating systems. Okay. But here you can see none is selected. So if you click on this advanced feature, you can see none is selected over here. These two options are not selected. So it will not affect your installation. Like it will not delete the uh, files in your physical uh, laptop. Okay. So I'll just close this and click on install now. So after you click on install now, this pop-up will come up. So it is saying that it will create uh, partitions of the disk. Okay, like whenever you install operating system, what it does is it basically creates partition uh, of the disk. Like you have allocated some uh, disk space, right? It will uh, divide equally or according to your need, it will divide the space allocated to the whole disk and partition them. Okay, so I'll just keep it as it is and then I'll click on continue. So I'll just keep this as it is again and then I'll click continue. Now here you'll have to give your information like whenever your physical laptop boots up it gives a login screen right so you enter there your uh, password and then you log in right so this is the same thing you'll have to uh, give your information and create password and this password will be used when you are trying to log into Ubuntu okay so I'll give my name here I'll write Aditi and it took this automatically so I'll just keep it as it is and then I'll choose a password so I'll just uh, give a password here and then I'll uh, write the password again you can choose any option from here like if you choose the first option it will just log in you it automatically it will not ask for password I'll keep this second option selected and then click on continue so here it's installing now so now here you can see the installation is completed and it's asking to restart so it will not restart your physical laptop it will restart the uh, linux that you installed okay so i'll just go ahead and click on restart now so here it's restarting now so i clicked enter and now it's showing this screen so it's basically restarting the uh, linux now it is uh, booting up the Ubuntu for me. It's similar to a uh, Windows operating system only like whenever you boot up the system it shows you like this now like uh, Windows it's uh, loading a screen and then it gives the login screen right. So that is the thing it's going on over here now. So my operating system has loaded up and it's showing the user so uh, I'll click on this 
and then i'll have to enter my password that i have created so i'll just uh, enter my password and click enter so here you can see this is the uh, windows desktop screen so all the apps are uh, loaded over here so this is the uh, linux inside your uh, windows machine okay so it's uh, asking to connect your accounts and all so i'll just uh, skip this for now you can simply use this as you use your windows operating system and uh, apart from this uh, i will show you some settings so there are many features of this uh, virtual box you can check them out like uh, you can see over here uh, you can take uh, snapshots also then reset reset means uh, similar to restart so you can click on this re reset button and then this uh, os will uh, restart again and also there is another option called pause so if i click on pause you can see it's paused uh, it's similar to like a, when you pause a, a video game or any video it's something like that okay then you can again unpause them uh, so i'll just click on pause again now you can see it unpaused uh, there are other uh, features as well you can uh, like uh, select the, these options to like uh, maximize the screen or adjust the window so you can uh, click these options you can record as well okay and then under this devices section there is uh, many options like you can see over here there is an option called shared clipboard so if you choose this bi-directional option you'll be able to copy uh, certain things like you will be able to copy anything from this uh, virtual machine to your local machine and vice versa as well and there are many other options also you can just go ahead and uh, do some r d and then here also you can see if you click on this full screen mode and then you will get this option so if you click on this switch option it will take you to full screen mode you can see now this linux operating operating system is a uh, full screen but it is not uh, scaled to size so uh, if you hover the cursor uh, below you will find option here uh, if you click on this uh, full screen mode again it will uh, exit that and you can see over here there are options to scale your window as well uh, this is the option so you can go ahead and play with options uh, so this was all about installing the linux in your windows 10 machine hope you like this video also if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, hit the like button and comment in the comment section so that if you face any problem i'll be able to help you out or you can reach me uh, through instagram handle as well i've given all the social media handles in my uh, channels about section so go and check it out i'll be back again with another video till then take care bye bye